Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to the pit. Here we are again, we got a nice inventory full of goods, including a nice laser sword here. Yay! It's amazing. Anyway, we've also got a bunch of other weapons, including a laser carbine pistol, shotgun pistol, magnet pistol, auto pistols. We have lots of pistols. Anywho, we should get moving here, otherwise we're going to be sitting here all day. It's got lots of medical gear, plenty of different things to heal us up if need be, lots of things waiting to be identified. Generally, a lot of junk in our inventory. But we're already halfway down this here pit. Let's see if we can't make it the rest of the way. Here we're on floor 16, the first part of the second half. One issue we're starting to run into, though, is the guns that we do have ammo for are starting to run low on ammo. So it may become an issue soon. We'll have to wait and see. Also, I'm pretty sure he just spawned there. And that's not cool. Get back here, you. Don't open that door. Don't open that door. I didn't say you could leave. You're dying now. Alright, reload that. Take another hit from the Zul Pup. That's fine. We'll slash him up a little. And keep on getting out of here. So, what do we got? We got a black trap down there. We got a... Alpha door over here. Where are we on the map? Mostly in the center. Okay, we'll probably go to the top first, then we'll leave that door locked. Hello! No thank you. Back up. Kill that stinking protean with a mag pistol. That lets us one-shot him, which is kind of nice. Sounds like... Uh, I was about to say, sounds like there's nasty things nearby, and we hit with a grenade. Of course. Well, let's see if we can't kill that crazy human before he grenades us again. Yes, we can. Apparently something behind us now. Yes, there is. Slash up that Zul pup. This is not a nice situation to be in. Oh, come on now. No, Protean, no. Don't do it. Okay, he decided not to do it. I'm okay with this. Let's turn around, switch to our pistol again. Actually, the mag pistol is better for this. We're going to back up one tile. Turn around. No! Oh, my fingers slipped off of control. Gun him down. All right. All right. Gun down the maintenance bot. There's another Protean coming. Slash up the maintenance bot. Oh boy! Okay, there's other robots coming too, we can hear them. We're gonna let them keep coming closer because we can just run away, so that's not too much of a problem. Now we can hopefully turn and fight. I think our shotgun pistol is reloaded, so if we need to switch to it once we kill this... Oh, there's something nasty behind us now too. <laughs> Everything is happening at once. Alright, shotgun pistol's equipped. There is a moon bear directly behind us, so we're gonna get hit by that thing. We are going to take out... Those stinking pro- Oh, he survived! How'd you survive? Alright, kill him with this. Alright. We've been grabbed by the moon bear. And there's another protean coming. Fantastic. Gun him down, please. He survived as well. Fantastic. We're going to reload. What a nasty situation we're in. Jeez. I did tell you, the start of each area is generally the worst part. And I wasn't kidding. This is nasty stuff. Can I just sword him to death? Probably. We're going to take a lot of damage here. Being grabbed by enemies is generally not good. We should be okay, just as long as nothing else sneaks up behind me while I'm knifing this guy. No, we're good. Okay. Okay. That was not a nice situation, but we should be okay in the long run. Let's reload here quickly. There we go. There's a lot of stuff on the floor we kind of want. That raw meat looks nice. We can cook that up, and then we'll have plenty of goodies. But I think for now, we'll need to hold off on that. We can come back and grab this stuff later. There's a lot, yep, a lot of other things in the area that want us dead. So, how are we going to deal with this medium security bot? I'm thinking laser pistol. We have two shots left in it, and then we can finish it off with a assault pistol or something to kill it without wasting anything else. And it looks like I was a little bit off there on my numbers, but that's fine. It died in two shots. Good enough. We'll go back to the laser pistol and reload that thing, so we have it if we need it. This will, of course, take another of those energy cells. There we go. What's around here? Nothing else I can see. We might actually have killed everything that's immediately going to rush us. Alright, that looks pretty good now. We may be in a situation where it's safe to actually look around for a minute and potentially not get instantly murdered. Okay. What can we do here with all of these things? It doesn't look like we can do too much with them all yet. If we explore a little bit further, we might be able to find some more. We have a gamma locked door here, which is a bit harder to get into than the other ones we found earlier. It's got a 50% failure rate, so we're going to leave that one alone for now. Last thing I want to do is set off more alarms. Alright, some voracious Zul pups. We should be able to kill them off pretty easy, especially now that they've come nice and close. We can hit them both at once with a sword, and that makes it a little bit nicer. Let's us double our damage output with that weapon. There are definitely more things in here, though. Yes, there's one of them. Kill that stinking protean. There we go. We got off pretty lucky with the Proteans earlier, though, so I can hardly complain. Reload our various guns, and let's see if we can't find anything that'll help us on our way here. There is... there's nothing in that one. There is a med bay here, which might be able to help us. Maybe not. There's another soft screen. Not that we really need five of them. We will try and get some health out of this thing, though, and see what happens. 
Oh, there's a little bit of health. Can we heal it again? Yes, excellent. And that's the max that we're going to be getting from that med bay. Can we open this door? No, apparently not. I could try one more time, but like I said, I don't want to set off the alarms right now, so I'd much rather just leave it and come back later and unlock them as we're leaving. Hello, more Proteans. And Proteans are why you go through a bajillion ammo. I should actually take out my pepper box again, make sure it's reloaded, because I knew it wasn't earlier. There we go. Back to the pistol here. We should be able to take these guys out, hopefully, using this technique again. They might be just outside our range with the pepper box, though, so we'll have to wait and see. Can I get them from here? No. Can I get them from here? No. Alright, that's not good, because now they're going to spread out. So we're going to have to use the mag pistol instead, and kill them the old-fashioned way, with bullets. There we go. That'll do. You might think the old-fashioned way would involve swords, because we have one of those too, and that's definitely much more old-fashioned than bullets, but no, that's actually incorrect at this time. Auto pistol, that stinking Protean. That bear is going to charge us too, but hopefully not faster than the Protean does. So we really don't want to have to deal with all of that at once. And now is the time for the pepper box. Go, pepper box, go! Awesome. Was there also a bear in there? I don't know. Might have just been attacking the, the, uh, the door frame. Reload the pistol. Reload the other pistol. So many things to put bullets in. Okay, there- oh goodness, the stone mole. Well, that was one thing I was not looking forward to. We did get hit with acid, which does burn everything in our inventory, which is not great, but... It's not the end of the road yet. We're probably going to want to get out of his range of fire, though, otherwise he's going to keep hitting us. So we're just going to keep moving over this way. He'll eventually follow us out, and we should be safe from the acid. If we come over here, that should do it. So if we shoot him from this distance, he should not be able to do his acid spit at us, because I think we're just out of range. And that is the way I like it. Come on now. You just need to die there, Stone Mole. It's okay. No one's going to think any less of you. There we go. Grab that fat. No, why did I grab an acid sack? Did I ever have some in my inventory? No. Get rid of that. That must have been an ammo clip a second ago. Alright. Oh, it definitely was. It was one of the pistol ammos. That's fine. Okay. Okay. We're in a little bit of trouble here, though. If we can't forget about those bears. Don't forget about bears. Just a word to, word to, word to the wise. Don't forget about bears. Because they won't forget about you. Come on now, bear. Don't make me do this. Okay, he decided not to make me do it. That's good. <laughs> See what I was telling you, though? So, I mentioned this in an earlier episode. Enemies like hiding around corners of doorways, and they get really confused sometimes doing so, so that's cool. Now, this is an amazing thing. This here is an augmentation bay. And augmentation bays have the potential to upgrade your character in really cool ways, but... I'm not entirely sure if this is how this works, but I believe if you fail your attempt to upgrade it to work on humans, it can do bad things to you. Very bad things to you. The worst thing it can do to you is give you tunnel vision. Now, tunnel vision is literally the worst. No, no, I forgot to turn off my steam. There we go. Tunnel vision is the worst thing, because uh, it basically blinds you to a huge amount of your vision. It's like, you see the vision area behind you as being the space you can't see? It's flipped. That's the space you can see, everything else is blinded. It's not a fun time. But hopefully we won't have to deal with that anytime soon, and we can just have a lovely time hacking up all of these bots. Get out of here. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to potentially come back to that augmentation bay if we can upgrade our decipher skill or potentially get the Rosetta Brain. That would make things much more appealing to activate that thing. Hello there, we're stunned. Not anymore, that's good. That would have been a bad situation to be stunned for. We should be okay to take this guy out, just as long... Oh, I didn't really have my pepper box, did I? Oh, I did! Perfect! Take him out! Yeah, that's what we'd like to see. Reload the pepper box. Awesome. And reload the auto pistol. Oh, there's an, another stinking laser bot there. Alright. Medium security bot mark two. I think we're going to pull out the laser pistol for that, and we're going to zap him a couple times with this thing. I'm not too worried about the super piercing necessary, because honestly, we don't need to go for the full laser carbine piercing for this guy. He will die sooner or later, though. He really doesn't want to go down. Wow. Maybe I was wrong. There we go. <laughs> I took half of our laser pistol. Not great. There's a whole pile of junk on the ground here. Thankfully, we've been able to get the raw meat, which is the part I really wanted. And now we should be able to basically just slice this guy up. Oh, more grenades. Fantastic. You rotten human you. You're destroying everything in my inventory. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't want to see you around here again. Ugh. The mag pistol has not actually gotten too badly hurt there. Our armor's taken a bit of a beating, but it has plenty of durability, so it'll be fine for a while. Alright. Food's getting kind of low, too, though. We're going to level up here just to make sure we get everything we can out of these things. 
Gain those additional skill points in Decipher will help us in the future. Forging, good, plus three, that's awesome. Blade, awesome, another plus three. Decipher, another plus three, that's good. And we go lockpick, electronics, mechanic, computer, and pistol. That was a pretty good level up. Got a pretty good number of skill points there. Lots more raw meat, which is lovely. Still don't necessarily want to go in there yet. Probably gonna have to fight a whole bunch of robots here anyway. Yes, looks like it. We'll slash this guy up. Eventually he'll die. He's gonna shoot us a lot first though. I guess I should have saved my level up until I came down here. But you know what? That's fine. You're dead now. There we go. And steal your bullets. There's more bullets there for us to grab later too. And this person's gonna run away? That's fine, Tarkin. You're gonna die though. Crazy Tarka female. And we'll slice up this voracious Zool pup as well. Now he could make us go crazy, but I don't think he's gonna get the opportunity now. Ugh, what else can we get rid of here? I want to bring more things with me. I need a bigger inventory. This playing as the scout has been pretty nice so far, especially because you start with such good stuff, and it's we've gotten lucky and gotten more good stuff. But I have to say, not having that might really hurts. All right, so let's try and take this guy out with the rest of this charge on the laser pistol. Shouldn't take more than five shots to kill him, and then we can recharge it either way. I'm not doing a whole lot of damage to him, though. I guess that extra piercing does matter. And we'll reload the laser pistol here, just to make sure. There we go. Auto pistol out the protean. Stinking plasma... I.S. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm trying to say stinking acid enemies. But my words got incredibly confused. Alright, and we have no ammo left in anything. You're going to move over here and reload. We're going to get hit by a protean. No, we're good. Fantastic. Now all I have to worry about is this this uh, nasty thing. Not a protean small, it's a target test subject. And it's dead now. We can grab some of those shotgun shells, reload the auto pistol, we don't need to reload that. Is the is thing full? No. We can reload the pepper box, excellent. Whew. Well, we don't want those pistol rounds for sure. We definitely can't go without those for much longer. So I think what we're going to try and do, there's a whole ton of stuff here we really need. Can I just pick them up now? Some of them. We'll probably have to come back to this whole hallway, because there's tons of stuff in here that looks very interesting to have. Especially because there is a kitchen here. No cooker, though, so that's unfortunate. We're not going to be able to put away some of the items I'd hope we've been able to. Nothing in there. What's in this freezer? Hopefully some good stuff is in there. Nope, nothing in that freezer either. Come on now, game. I just need some hyper cheese. That's all I really want. And some more fat strips, which you don't have any more space for, because our inventory is already full of them. Oh boy. Well, maybe eventually the game will be nice to us, but for now we'll have to make do with what we got. Take out these here bots. The augmentation base is up in that top corner too, so I can't really afford to abandon it. Manufacturing bays are not nice things. Just gonna say. Basically, they will continually spawn enemies in the room as long as they remain active. So we can come in here and try and booby trap the bay. 45% chance of success. If you succeed, it basically turns it off and means that any robots that come nearby will be... Uh, take damage instead of, oh, healing. But on the other hand, it also means that if it's active, it spawns robots all the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out our pepper box here. We're going to try and do some damage to this enemy and to this system. We're very low on food, which isn't great. But we're going to try and do some damage here. Oh, it didn't do any damage to the room. That's not good. We need to take this thing offline, because the longer it's online, the more enemies it's going to spawn, and that is going to give us a hard time. There's a lot of med stuff around, so I'm not too worried about not taking damage. We might just wind up slashing this thing until it dies. Get dead, you stinking bay. There we go. Now it's not going to spawn any more enemies on us. Unfortunately, we did trigger an alarm on it, so it's probably going to bring some more enemies over to us anyway, whether we like it or not. I don't see any coming, though. We may have cleared out the majority of them already. I think, though, what we're going to do here, we have six breads now. I can't believe I haven't gotten any cheese to make use of those. I got one, but that doesn't really count. Ugh. I'll eat one of those meats to take me out of the weak state, because that's never a good place to be. It sounds like there's more enemies running around, but I can't see where they are. Maybe they're all in here. Whatever. Let's just open up this uh, this armory. Maybe there's some good stuff inside. There is an angry robot, but that shouldn't be too much of a trouble. We should be able to take... Look at all these robots. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Ah... There is a giant Morgi drone over here on the edge of the map. We do not want to fight him, so we are going to run away, in fact. And let them come to us, because the Morgi drones... The normal Morgi drone is dangerous. This Morgi drone is incredibly dangerous. Oh, look at all those bullets. It's incredibly dangerous. They do serious damage, they're crazy powerful, and they're basically really scary. So, we're going to try and not deal with them until they're the only thing left. Morgi drone heavy. These guys are nasty. They actually use my favorite weapon in the game against me. Though at least my favorite weapon that I've seen so far. I'm sure there's other better ones. But earlier, I had found a Meeson rifle. And the Meeson rifle we can find in here is an insane weapon. Here it is, the Meeson rifle. 
it does a huge amount of damage at a huge penetration. It's basically a one-shot kill gun. <laughs> Against almost everything I found, it just murdered things. So cool. I wish I could get another one of them again, but I have not been so lucky. But that's okay, we're gonna try and lightsaber this Morgie drone to death. That sounds like fun. Taking a lightsaber against a giant flying robot, and the lightsaber wins. Cool, I'm okay with this. <laughs> oh, there's also a Hopkinite in here. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna rush him with our lightsaber. If he manages to miss us enough times, we might be able to kill him with this thing. Haha, lightsabered. Unfortunately, it's out of shots now, so we'll switch over to the laser pistol and just take him out with this instead. No, it's way too low. I need higher piercing. Dang nabbit. Laser carbine it is. We're gonna laser carbine him. He's really close to us, so the odds of us missing are pretty high. Like that. He didn't confuse us, that's good, but we can't hit him, and we're still grabbed, so we can't hit him very easily. There we go! Phew! Down to only five shots in there, which is not great. And we need to recharge our laser sword as well, so we'll do that. There we go. Excellent. There's some pistol ammo we can grab. Not a whole lot of it, though. We might have to come and grab that in a second, too. Resistance boosters are good. We're gonna drop something and pick it up in a second. So, the resistance boosters... Oh, there's a whole bunch of them in there, aren't there? There's two. Well, these are cool because you use them and they give you a pretty high chance to resist the next disease. Unlike vitamins, which give you a small chance to resist the next disease. These are like the better versions of those. Uh, what do I get rid of now? I have so many good things in my inventory. I don't want to drop any of them. Ah, I guess what I do is I eat some things. <laughs> I don't know. There's so much junk here, but I want to keep most of it because it's used for interesting things. Or is useful later. Superconductors, I don't remember what I'm holding onto them for. I don't think there's anything important in my recipes that I need superconductors for. Take a quick look through here. If there's anything that immediately strikes me as needing them, I'll keep them. But otherwise, do lifter packs need them? No. Anything else in here? Oh, I do have a pulse resonator thing. I forgot about that. That's what it was referring to using the, uh, the sonar thingy. Quantum scan helmets, those don't need them? No. Rosetta brains, do those need them? No. Alright, I don't think I really need them then. I can dump out this superconductor and that should let me carry these pistol rounds. There we go, we can come back down and grab the ones from down below as well. Excellent, that's only two more rounds, but that's better than nothing because running out of ammo is the worst thing. And now I don't have space for my super grenade. Plasma grenades are awesome, I can't leave that there. So, you know what, I'm just going to burn the second resistance booster. Can I not? Oh, there it goes, okay. There we go. Alright, can we open this? Yes, we can. We have a 99% chance of success, which is probably going to give us junk. <laughs> nothing! And actually shredded the armor, despite having a huge success chance. Thanks for nothing there, armor locker. And another Metatarkin field surgery kit. I love how it's just throwing healing items, but refuses to give us a single food item, really. I could eat some of my breads if I have to, but they're so much val they have so such value to them. Urgh! Whatever. We'll see. What else can we do here? We can get up to the top. I'll probably leave that med thing there for a while. We'll have to go back down to there as well. But for now, we'll explore a little bit further. Lots of haphazard exploration in this episode. Hopefully that doesn't frustrate anybody. Hello there! We have a beast virus, a giant protein, and a crazed surgeon. Not interested in dealing with any of that, thank you very much. You're probably going to come over and chase me now, and I'm okay with that. We've been infected with a nasty disease. Level 3 is pretty serious. I thought they did Berserk on you, but what happens is they go Berserk. Got a little bit confused there. That's that's not quite so bad. But, oh man. Level 3 disease is not happening. If that doesn't go away, we're going to be using one of our super antibiotics on it. Now, right now, I'm just trying to bait this guy out so we can hopefully take him out without too much trouble. Our pepper box is loaded? No, it isn't. Uh, right, we're gonna load the pepper box right now. We're dizzy right now, which is a side effect of our disease being at a high level. Hopefully it goes away quickly, though. Either we'll know now, or we have to try and use our antibiotics. And if we have to use those, we want to have a little bit of warning, because I think it takes at least a turn. There we go. Disease is reducing, though, so that's good. We're, we shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't die a horrible, painful death for no reason because of that. So let's just book it over this way for a little bit. Reload, turn around. He should be coming around the corner any time now. Where is he? You waiting for me? Yeah, you're waiting for me. Alright. Let's get rid of him. Disease is getting out of here, which is good. We definitely want to try and find some more food. We definitely need to try and find some more ammo now. Oh, I missed! Ah, I hate doing that. You accidentally click in the wrong spot and your bullets are wasted. Get over here, Proteans. I need to kill you the long and slow way. Ay -ay -ay. Okay, we'll get these guys sooner or later. They can't hold out forever. Well, they can try, but they probably won't succeed. 
eventually they're gonna die. Only problem is, if we kill that medium protein at the wrong place, or when we have not enough bullets, there we go, just keep in our guns, we could be in a bit of trouble. I'd be surprised if it got us too badly, though, because we are in a pretty solid situation for killing proteans now. It would be much better if we had some kind of shotgun. The auto shotgun would be amazing, in fact. Just hint, hint to their game. If you wanted to give me one of those, I wouldn't complain. But I don't expect anything at this point. Alright, more medical lockers. Is there anything good in these? I bet you there's more med kits. What do you know? More med kits. Alright. What's in this one? More med kits! There are so many med kits we've got now. I, I can't even carry them all. That's ridiculous. I guess I could take more of these, but these aren't even very good. Ugh. Let's just use one, generate some health for ourselves, and then dump it. We'll get that other one instead, because it's better. No point in carrying a two, uh, two charge one around. We'll drop that one. And we'll grab this one! Well, we have a bajillion medkits. If we ever need health, we have all the health in the world on us, so there's no excuse. Let's activate the charge hub, see if we can't repower our digital assistant. There we go. We can try and extract power from these rad pods instead, but like I said, that's a bit of a dangerous venture, because if you fail, well, you've just filled the entire room with radiation, meaning you're probably going to regret it. Now we're hungry again, so that's not good either. There's so much good stuff lying around. Medkits everywhere. Alright, can we get in here and steal anything nice? Ooh, there's lots of interesting things in here. Let's pry open this ammo crate. It has more flechette rounds in it. We'll take those. Pry open the light weapons locker. What's in here? Another sword. We might be able to swap our sword for this one if it's better repair. Slightly. We'll drop this one. We'll take the new one. There we go. Grab the new sword. Stick that in a slot there. Good. They are giving us a lot of stuff this game, which is crazy. We are going to try and fix up this computer and see if we can't get our decipher skill. Nope. Boosted. <laughs> so much for that. Alright, we should probably eat something else again, otherwise we're going to continue starving. Um, I can eat some moldy bread. Not healthy, though. I need a purifier. That's another thing we need. Alright, we'll eat another meat. We're going to run out of food here soon. And hello, Morgi drone. You stinker, sneaking up on me like that. Well, we got a laser pistol with your name on it. Ow. Ow. Stop shooting me with lasers. I need to shoot you with lasers. Okay. Here's the exit. That's interesting. This looks like a fake thing. Nope, that's actually another medical locker. There are so many of these. And another Tarkin Field Surgery. Are you serious? I don't need that many Tarkin Field Surgeries. Ugh, whatever. Let's activate the monitors here. We have a couple enemies left in this room, but that looks like about it. Everything else has been cleared out of the map, but that's good. We're going to keep spamming this thing for a little bit of extra experience. That'll do. It gives us a pretty decent amount. I think 40 isn't too bad. It does take a lot for us to level up now, but that's fine. Unfortunately, it does burn some of our food as well, which is not great either. Let's open up these doors and see what's hiding inside. It sounds like there's a bear in there, though. What do we see? What do we... Yeah, there is a bear in there. I was right. Well, we're getting very low on pistol ammo. We have a good amount of mag pistol ammo, but the gun itself is weak. I have plenty of shotgun rounds, but the shotgun is not the most effective weapon. Hmm. This is going to be a tricky situation. We're getting to the point now where we're not quite so well equipped anymore. We've got some decent things. Oh, there's two bears in here. Three... Oh, goodness. Three bear-like creatures in here. Okay, do we have any bullets in this pepper gun? Yes, we do. Pepper box. You are going to fire at these guys. That did a bit of damage to them. It also sprayed damage wildly, but that's better than nothing, I guess. Now we have to slice up this bear with melee, and we're going to get hit with lots of acid, undoubtedly, so that's going to be fun. Yes, here it goes. You can't be doing that to me, game. You're damaging my auto pistols and all kinds of things I actually need. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not cool, man. It's not cool. All right, we're going to back up here. We're going to try and take some more pot shots at this bear. Hopefully, we can kill it and then get away from the other bear. Out of this uh, mole. If we back up far enough, it shouldn't be able to spit acid at us, but it's going to keep trying until we get to that perfect distance. If you're anything less than that range, it still manages to hit you. Mag pistol, you're going to do some damage. you got more bullets for you than we do of the auto pistols. Of course, you're getting damaged really fast, and that's not good. You have, like, three durability left? Okay. Just don't break too fast, and I'll be okay, but otherwise you might be in trouble here. Reload the pistol. Reload the other pistol. Okay. It's not game over yet, but it's definitely not a good situation either. We're weak again, we've run out of food. Are there more am oh, energy backpacks? Not bad, but really, really big. Flechette rounds, weapon biomods. Come on now, game, give me some pistol rounds and some rounds I can actually use. More energy cells? Okay. I can use that with my laser pistol. That's potentially good. Hmm. We could be in trouble here. 
We could definitely be in trouble here. Is there a... I believe... Hmm. We may have to go back up a floor before we go back down a floor because if we go back up, we might be able to get lucky enough and find ourselves a repair station somewhere. If we come back up here, what do we find? Is there a repair station anywhere around? No, there isn't. Alright then, well I guess we'll have to keep journeying downwards with what we've got. Not a whole lot we can do about it at this stage. There's a ton of medical supplies around here though, which is kind of disappointing to leave behind because those are going to come in very handy later on, no doubt. This laser carbine, does it need to be reloaded? Kind of. Let's reload it and that'll take up the energy backpack. Then we can grab the medical field surgery kit in its place. I don't know if that's necessarily a good idea, but it's what we've got, so we'll take it. Okay, well, hopefully this next floor isn't too terrible. We are running very low on food, though, so we're going to eat all of this meat to hopefully bring us back up to a decent level. And let's take floor 17.